Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So I have a really good friend that's got a bike and loves to ride and really thinking about maybe starting to do some races and you know, and it's just really enjoyed doing his biking. So a couple things to think about if you're gonna transition into racing is, is that racing is a lot harder on the body. So you've gotta be ready for some intense work, which means probably in your rides to work or different things like that, you'd wanna incorporate some intervals, which means you know, maybe like a minute on, a real hard effort, and then rest. A minute on, off. That kind of stuff so that you can start to build up some endurance so that when you go out on a race or you enter that first race, that you've got some endurance built up. Really start to think about your nutrition and the length of your rides also. If you're commuting to work and it's an hour, perfect. If it's an hour and a half, perfect. If it's two hours, great. You know, but you need to think about that length and what you can do with that timing to be able to do your interval training and test some nutrition. So don't eat breakfast in the morning. Test your nutrition on the way to work. See, eat, eat your bagel on the way, you know, see if you can do it. You know, start to put those type of things that you would use in racing into your commuting and in your everyday cycling and see if you still want to do it. If that makes sense to you, then you'll want to put more of a structured plan together. So that's what I would tell you is, is that if you're trying to transition from every day having fun, thinking about doing a bigger event or racing, start to incorporate some of that in that as you're doing it. Learn to take your water bottle out with your left hand and with your right hand. You know, don't just take it out with the one hand all the time. Learn how to drink while you're riding, you know, at a good steady state effort. So in one of your intervals, pull it out, try to get a drink while you're doing that because, you know, it's harder. You're really breathing hard. You know, a few things like that you can play with without ever racing, without ever committing to a race. But if you're gonna to commit to racing, there's only one way to do it. That's sign up for an event. If you, do, if you don't sign up for an event, you will not push yourself to get there. It's just a fact of life. So if you're interested in doing it, I don't care if it's a 25, 50 mile, 100 mile race, go sign up for it and then you're committed. You'll change the way you ride and you'll do a lot more. But we can talk about gear for the first time, all sorts of things. But hopefully that helps you get started. Just do some testing right out of the gate. Have a little fun with it. Have fun though. That's the biggest thing. And keep cycling strong.